In this video, we will see how to do market basket analysis with SQL or find the items which are frequently bought together from a store. For that, I have created a table called as customer order which is CUST order and the DDL to create the table is as follow and also we have inserted some values into the table. Let us query the table and let me show you the data as well as the schema from this is the table name cust order and the script to create the table as well as to insert the table will be available in the description you can find it there and this is the table which we have created which consists of three columns first column is order id second is customer id and the third one is product id so product id specify what are the products brought by a particular customer in a particular order id so we will find which are the items which are frequently brought together. We will start with two items which are frequently brought together and then we will move on to three items which are frequently brought together. Since we have only one table, what we are going to do here is we are going to join the table with the same table based on order ID and customer ID. Select start from and let us give an alias name C1 and we are going to join the table with the same table and a second alias name C2 on C1 dot order ID to C2 dot order ID. Here I don't have to use the customer ID column because both the customer ID column and order ID column is unique for the particular row. So we, we don't have to simply repeat the customer ID. Even if I use the customer ID column in the join condition, the result is going to be the same because if we see the data, we can see that the order ID 111 is corresponding to the customer ID 1 and 2222 is corresponding to the customer ID 2, 3333 corresponding to 3 and similarly, those are always unique. So it doesn't matter if I use customer ID in the join condition or not. And for the simplicity, I'm going to filter the data based on a single order ID. Then we will expand it for all the data. So here I am going to give one more filter which is C1 dot order ID equal 1111. Now if I run the query, we will get a new table which is based on the join condition. So we have one table which is based on the join condition that is C1 dot order ID equal C2 dot order ID. So in the result, we can see that we don't have, we don't want the same product ID to repeat again and again. That is, see, we don't want CCCC and CCCC to be in the same row because that is not going to be a valid combination of product because both the products are the same products only. So we are going to give one more filter condition here and C1 dot product ID greater than C2 dot product ID. This is going to be going to filter one more combination that is if we see the second combination that is BBB AAA and if I come down we can see that we will have AAA BBB. We don't want this duplicate data also because these are also the same data. BBB AAA and AAA BBB combination are the same. So we don't want that, that, that data also to get duplicated. So we are going to give a greater than condition here. Otherwise we could have given a not equal to condition. So in order to remove this same value combination as well as the duplicate reverse duplicate pair we are going to use the greater than condition here and now if i run the query we will get only unique combinations of products now we have got the unique combination of product that is in the order id one the customer one has bought product id aaaa bbbb aaa ccc and bbb and ccc these are the combinations of products bought by customer one in the order id 1111 now i am going to remove this filter condition because we don't obviously don't want this filter condition and we are going to do this for the entire data set and this was filtered only for the understanding purpose now if i run this query we will get the similar combination for every order id and customer id now we have got the result before moving on to the next part we will take only the required columns because we don't want this order id order id customer id customer id to be repeated but product id columns are unique columns and have are having distinct values so we will give a new name to the product id column also 
So instead of the star, we are going to use c1 dot order ID and c1 dot customer ID. And from the c1 table, we are going to take the product ID as product underscore one. This is the first product and c2 dot product ID as product underscore product two. Now we have the required columns. Now if we run, we will have only four columns which has order ID, customer ID, product one and product two. So these are the combinations, two combinations of products bought by each of the customer ID, corresponding to the customer ID and the order ID. Now we are going to count the product ID combinations. So for that, we will put this inside a CT with T1 as open and close the bracket. Now after that, taking reference as T1, that is, now we are going to write query on the table T1. So this is our parent table T1. So select T1 dot product 1 comma T2 dot product 2 dot now we are going to use the count as an aggregate function and we are going to count how many times a particular product combination have repeated as bought together from the table T1 and since we are using the aggregate function we have to group the column also so that we are going to use the group by clause that is t1 dot product 1 comma see this is not t2 this is t1 only because we only have t1 table that is the first first common table expression t1 dot product underscore 2 and let us order the result based on the board together so that the number which is the maximum should come at the top that is bought together order by descending. Now let us run the query and see what is the result that we are getting. Oh, it is because I selected the query only till product 2. I haven't included the order by in the selection. Now let me choose the order by also and run the query. Yeah, now we have the result so that we can see that the product CCC and the product BBB have been bought together four times. CCC AAA have been bought three times. BBB AAA have been bought two times and all other combinations have been bought together only one time. So we can see that this is the product which is commonly bought together. This is what two products. Now we want to modify the query for three products. Let me show that how we does that. So this is for combination of two products, combination of two products. Now we are going to do the market basket analysis for a combination of three products. For that we are going to copy the same query. I am going to modify the same query a little bit based on the join condition and the number of tables used. So we will copy the same query. And inside the common table expression, we are going to use one more join condition based on the same customer order table. So after the first join condition, I'm going to use the second join condition, which is for a third customer order table. That is copy the customer order table, paste it here and going to give an alias name C3. And the join condition is exactly the same. Only thing is we want to change the c2 to c3 that is the join condition become c1 dot order id equal c3 dot order id and inside the where condition we have to write one more clause and c2 dot product id greater than c3 dot product id this is for the same reason that i have mentioned earlier we are using the specific not equal to condition um, sorry greater than condition inside the where clause and also we have to modify the select clause as well in order to include the third product 
that is c3 dot product id as product 3 this is the third product that we are going to use that is c3 dot product id as product 3 and we are now coming to the outer part of the query now in this part we are going to use t1 dot product underscore 3 which is the third product and in the group by close also we are going to use the same column name product underscore 3 now we have modified the query for for a combination of three products now let us run the query and see what is the result that we are going to get now we have got a result such that we have four columns which is product one product two product three and the number of times the products have been bought together as you can see product aaa bb and bbb and ccc have been bought together two times and product bbb ccc ddd have been bought together one time let us compare the result with our actual table select star from cust order let us run both the uh, result as well as the parent table then we can compare the result now if we if we compare the result with the parent table this is the parent table for the customer id customer order table and this is the frequently bought together result and we can see that item a b c have been bought together by the order by the customer id in the corresponding order id 1111 and if we come down we can see that 2222 is not buying b so only a and c is coming together so there is no three products and this combination is entirely not considered and coming down the customer id 3 is also not buying more than two products so this is also not considered and if i come down to the fourth customer that is corresponding to four we have three three rows and the items which are bought together are aaa bbb and ccc which is same as aaa bbb and ccc so this combination of products have been bought together two times and again if i come down we can see that five 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 customer id is not having more than two products so this is also not considered when we take the combination of three products and coming down to six customer we have three products corresponding to that particular customer and that product ids are bbb ccc and ddd so in the result we have bbb ccc and ddd is bought together one time and the first combination is ccc bbb aaa which is the combination bought by customer one and customer four is bought together two times so this is how we do market basket analysis with sql also we can do this for more number of product combination and the query might differ depending upon the data model that we are using but we can modify the data to the similar schema and we can apply the same logic onto the data to find the frequently bought items together hope you like the video thank you